Welcome back. A Metro family held a heart screening today for students across the Metro after losing their own daughter to a heart condition, which suddenly took her life. Fox 4's Nicole D'Antonio spoke with the family of Emma Aronson, who is now trying to prevent the same thing from happening to other student athletes. It's nearly three miles away from the basketball court in Lee Summit High School, but in St. Luke's East Hospital Saturday morning, it's where you find many of the team players. My experience with Emma kind of taught me that, like, you never know what could happen tomorrow, so always take whatever measure you can to prevent what, what you don't know what's coming. Kim is a senior who played basketball with Emma Aronson since freshman year, now getting screened for her first time. She kind of always looked out for the girls, being one of the older ones, and I feel like she, she'd probably tell me to get my butt up and get over here as soon as possible. From playing the same position on the court to now in the doctor's seat, once again looking up to her teammates' advice. And around the busy waiting room, it's the sign in the center of it all, which inspired more than 50 Metro students to get tested Saturday. That girl just lived every day. She was fun and crazy, and she just loved God like that's her story. Her faith was her biggest thing. On June 5th, Emma Aronson was swimming in a pool when her heart stopped, a death which left her family with a lot of questions. A lot of whys. Uh, why weren't we informed about this? Why did we not know that basketball was one of the biggest sports that kids die of sudden cardiac arrest. In fact, according to doctors at St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute, the most common age sudden cardiac deaths occur in athletes is between 15 and 20 years old, a trend the Aronson family wants more parents to know. It's kind of counterintuitive that, that the youngest and the, what, what we deem the most healthy uh, group of our, of our population, uh, the young competitive athlete, is the one who's at greatest risk. And with just weeks until the girls final game of the season, they plan to honor Emma and her family who's given back to them. Nicole D'Antonio, Fox 4 News, working for you in Lee Summit. All right, Nicole, thank you. The St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute partnered with the Emma Aronson Foundation to offer the heart screenings. The American Heart Association does not currently recommend tests like a 12 LED ECG or an echocardiogram to be used as an initial screen.